Hello, animal ecologists. I'm here with my lovely assistant who lives in my bubble, and we're going to test relative abundance by looking at tracks and maybe scat in the forest. So I've got my 10 meter measuring device. I'll post a video about how I made this. It's basically just a string and I took a ruler and marked off meter increments until I got to 10. This is in lieu of having one of those fancy measuring devices that we have at lab. <laughs> so string works. So I'm in the woods and I'm going to walk 10 meters. So you can leave, I've got my assistant here watching one end of my string. So she's gonna mark the starting point and then I'm going to keep going into the woods. You can use a compass to mark so that you got a straight line. And as you go, you're looking for tracks. So I've got my stick, my string, I'm gonna walk and looking for tracks. So here are some rabbit tracks crossing my line. So that's one, I get my recorder to record that for me. And then I've got some squirrel tracks. Whoa, there's a bunch of things happening here. So this looks like, this looks like it might be a lynx. Neighbor's dog, maybe. Dog and cat we could tell apart if there wasn't a layer of snow, but right now I can't tell the difference. I think it might be a lynx. Anyway, so you wanna make sure that you only count each set of tracks once. So I've got one set of, I think possibly a cat, but it's definitely a carnivore. And then I've got a squirrel once and a rabbit once. And then I've got something else here. I think it's another squirrel. And as I keep going, detangling my string. So I keep going here. I've got another rabbit, another squirrel. And that's the same rabbit. So that's not a new rabbit. And I've ended. So I've come to the end of my string. Ah, I dropped it. <laughs> I've come to the end of my string and you can see all the way down the line there to my sister down at the far end holding the other end. So that's 10 meters. In our lab manual, I think it says 100 meters. And you can do that just by counting 10 and 10 and 10 and 10. When we have three hours and a group of four, 100 meters is not very difficult. You're all by yourself you might want to cut that in half and maybe only do 50. It also will depend on your habitat. If you're in a big forest, you can do 100 meters. If you're in a park, you might only be able to do 40. Do what you can, add them up to, four, to 100. So maybe you end up doing um, five sets of 20. So, lovely assistant, you wanna come join me? I now have, if you want to keep going along the same line, you get your assistant to come or you can tie your string off to something so that you can go another 10 meters. So I'm going to go another 10 meters. Oh, I forgot. And make sure you double check your bearing so you're going in a mostly straight line. I have a compass. I've already marked my bearing. I have a video I made in the spring about, no, about in the fall. I have a video I made in the fall about how to use a compass. Okay, following my line. Oh, that's an older track there, a squirrel. There's another squirrel. You can tell the squirrels because they're like two and then two. Rabbits are similar, but not quite the same. That's squirrel and rabbit. Squirrel, but this is rabbit with the bigger back feet. And then another two rabbits, another squirrel, another rabbit, and another squirrel. That's the same rat as before, so I'm not counting it again. And I've come out of my forest habitat. So then I'd have to end because I don't want to be counting. I want to compare two different habitats. So in the lab manual, I think it says conifer forest versus deciduous forest, but it might be 
conifer forest versus field if that's the habitat you have near you. So we'll see what we see. We got to be flexible in these COVID times. So thank you for listening. Enjoy being outside. Bye.